This video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. The magic of order blocks and fair value gaps. One of the best risk to reward trades in ICT's arsenal is the order block inside of a fair value gap. These are the type of trades that help to bring ICT to mythological status because of its precision in calling price action. In this video, we will go over the best ways to use order blocks and fair value gaps to make big risk to reward trades and to make bread and butter setups as well. The three ways that order blocks and fair value gaps can be used are as key turning points in price consolidation, as a way to engage a trend, you can stay in a trend, you can add positions to the trend, and as a way to find explosive price moves. Here are some key notes for trading order blocks and fair value gaps. The order block is on the left and the fair value gap is on the right. The order blocks could also be considered breaker blocks. If there is low resistance liquidity next to the order block, be careful about trading it. Use the higher time frame, 15 minute and above, to measure out your trade and then enter on the lower time frame. Make sure that there is not an opposing order block inside of a fair value gap on the other side of your trade that's too close and won't give you enough tips for your move. Here are some examples of using order blocks inside of fair value gaps as key turning points in price consolidation. Here we have consolidation of the USD JPY. During the London session, a large order block was created on the 15 minute chart, then another order block was created. Price continued to reach up, and this could be considered the three drive move that ICT talks about. A fair value gap is created, and it's a good idea to draw a line from the order block through the fair value gap, so you know where price is heading toward. And as we see, the order block is on the left, the fair value gap is on the right. Price goes beyond the fair value gap, comes back in, and then closes above the order block. And coincidentally, it's also above 50% of the fair value gap. That would be an entry. You can place your stop loss below the bottom of this order block. And if we measure it out, it's around six pips, and you're looking for two to one, and you get your two to one, you actually get around 13 bits. This is a bread and butter setup where you're only looking for two to one. And as price continues, it breaks down, creates another fair value gap. And if we look, there is a bearish order block here. As price reaches back up inside of the fair value gap, it hits the order block. You can enter right on the order block with a stop loss above the top of the order block. That would be 14 pips, or if you want to be more aggressive with your stop, since it's pretty large, you can make it 13. Price moves down, and you're looking for 2 to 1, and you get 2 to 1, 26. Another way to use order blocks inside of fair value gaps is to engage a trend. You can stay in the trend, or you can add positions to the trend. Here are some examples. When price opens during this new trading day, you can see you're already in a downtrend. Then after the London session, an order block is created, as well as a fair value gap. You can draw your line out from the order block, and as price touches that order block, you can enter, and that will get you into the trend. As price continues to the downside, another bearish order block is created, and then another fair value gap. Again, you can draw your line, and when price reaches the order block, you can add to your position and then price moves to the downside. That would be entering a trend and then adding to your position. And if we measure out the stop loss and the take profit, our stop loss would be around seven pips, seven and a half to eight pips, let's call it eight. And your take profit, if you just do your two to one, you would be getting out there. But as you realize you're in a trend and you can use that four EMA as your guide. When price starts to head back to the 4 EMA, you can probably get out. 
which would be 70, around 73 pips. But if you want to add to your position, continue to hold, that would give you an additional 45 pips. You can use an order block, an opposite order block, to help you frame your trade of where you're going to exit. Another way to use order blocks inside of fair value gaps is to find explosive price moves. Here we have the end of a trading day where an order block was created. Of course, this is an order block as well, this is an order block, this is an order block, but if you look at this order block here, one key clue that this is going to be the place of return for price is that if you look closely, price did not close this gap. When it reached back into the gap, it closed right outside of it without touching this candle. That left an inefficiency right above an order block. And if you want to take note of the price, which is what ICT does, this is what helped bring him to that mythological status of calling price action to precision. The top of this candle is 384.57.92. This is the order block. As we look at price, go through the Asian and the London session. During the beginning of the New York session, at 7 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, price heads to the downside to clean up that gap. And at 7.15, it touches the 3847.92, directly right on it. And then price reverses quickly to the upside. These are the explosive price moves that we mentioned earlier. To recap, using order blocks in fair value gaps are the key to high win rate successful ICT trading. You can use them as a key turning point in price consolidation, as a way to engage a trend, as a way to find explosive price moves. We hope you've enjoyed watching our video. Please like and subscribe for more videos like these. If you have a question, comment, or something you would like for us to cover more in depth, please post it in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.